Hello everyone, and welcome back to the late game. I am the Long Game Hunter, and we are playing the Banner Saga. When we last led off, there was an interesting choice, and here it is again. So, the caravan consists of more clansmen than you ever expected. Accusations of stolen chickens, missing heirlooms, and concerns over daughter's virtues are the sorts of things you hear relentlessly. Even fighters complain of spreading too thin to protect everyone. So, carry on and put up with it. Try to address the major issues. Try to keep people useful, too busy for petty squabbles. Form a council to handle these problems, or split the caravan. Not particularly keen on the idea of splitting the caravan. Right now, I think one of our biggest strengths is our numbers. And really don't want to suffer suffer too much of a hit on that front. We carry on and put up with it, but I also do not believe in burying my head in the sand. If I see a problem, I'm gonna address it. That's just the way I... No, that's the way I handle things. Uh, we could try to address the major issues. We could try to keep people useful and too busy for petty squabbles. That, uh, that would keep people tired. And now that would mean that we don't have many problems coming from within, but it, mean, it might mean that we're a little less capable of dealing with problems from without. So we could, or we could form a council to handle these problems. Now, I tend to think that options two and four are probably going to be the best one here. And of, th of the two... Having thought about it now, I think I'm going to go with forming a council to handle these problems. As, as tempting as it is for me to try and take everything on myself, there's just... In a group this size and this diverse, there's going to be too much going on for just one person. So we're going to form that council. You select a few older members to solve everyday issues, but infighting neuters their progress. Other members feel they could do a better job. Ultimately, while it buys some time, the council dissolves, tired of the thankless and demanding work. Piss. Well, damn. All that thought and effort, no, effort and basically I'm just handed a big nope by the game. It'd be such a shame, too, because I can already think of, like, two people that would be good on that council. Ugh. Oh well. And on we go. There was a lot of thought put into that, too. Nuts. Now morale's weak. We're low on supplies, so I can't really... I can't really wait around. I can't take the time I need to bring morale back up. Alright. You hear a whistle on the wind and spot a long line of Varl up ahead, heading toward you. Behind them is a swarm of dredge and a trail of bodies leading off into the distance. Get down there, barks Krumru. Okay, guess we're gonna head down there. Then. <laughs> ah, interesting. Don't let them spread out shouts the lead Varl as you approach the battleground. Soon, you almost regret finding yourself fighting alongside them, facing off against a daunting number of dredge. Alright, that seems to take a quick head count. There must be at least 176 of them. I have 176 fighters, but I also have Varl at my side, so that's good. Evenly matched, we could charge in there. I kind of like our chances, honestly. I think we've got a goodly amount of people with us. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And it'll cut down on our losses. So, you consider taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It'll throw you into the thick of battle. We've read all of that before. All right. Let's do this. Okay. Now, let's see. We've got a bunch of people. We've got Fasolt there. That's good. We might need a new tank. <laughs> um, let's see. I really think I want to bring Ekil into this. Is He's quickly becoming a very important part of things. So, let's... 
Do I have the ability to promote? I do. You might be a good person to promote, Alette. Let's see. I've got promotions to hand out all over the place if I want to. But really, I can only promote somebody who's rank 1. And I honestly don't know if that's a good idea. We could... We will probably need to use th that renown elsewhere. So, all right. Um, that said, let's switch Alet with Ekel, and I think that'll do it. Okay. Ooh, we're way more spread out than I'd like. But we did charge, so I think that's more or less my own fault. Okay, so we've got a couple of slingers here, a couple of big guys here. Those slingers are going to be a pain in the ass, but... They're also going to be tough to put down quickly. I'm not sure that we have much of a choice, though. We're going to have to go after them and go after them quick. So let's... See if we can't pop them up here. We'll keep her over here so that we can, if at all possible, slow the advance here, or maybe even keep them from wandering quite so much. Uh, we can pop him over here. And he's, yeah, he'll be handy in slowing the advance as well. Pop her over there. And... Yeah, there we go. We'll see if we can't catch these guys in kind of a pince pincer attack and deal with them quickly. Hmm, okay. Who's coming up next? Okay, so the slingers over there first. Follow the by the big guy over here. And he's going to be moving before Krumer. Crud. Well, maybe she can help with that. All right. So. Eagle. Let's get up there quickly. All right. Where are you going? Oh, are you? And drop that down immediately, huh? Just the one? Or is there another one? Yeah, there's two over there. Okay. So, we're going to... Let's bring you over here. And let's immediately start... No, not you. Let's start scaring people a little bit closer to our allies. Alright, now with her, I would love to be able to spend an arrow that direction, but I think the best use of our talents here is going to be stopping somebody from hopping on on a uh, Good thing. Okay. Need to get him off of the... off of the blue mark. Or at least fairly well away from it. Chop into him. And nuts. I should have figured that. Okay. We're going to get well away from you, I think. So pop you up here. Hey, 
Yeah, down here. <laughs> Off he goes. See, this is what was going to make them such a pain. So they, they're just going to scatter to the five winds, or four winds, or however many winds. The 70,000 winds. Hmm. You don't break armor too well. Maybe you can... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can't get you going back the right direction. You're about to blow up, I think. Okay. We've got more of them coming up here. And then you again. Alright. I think... I think we can continue this delay tactic. But not for long. Alright. So I think we're gonna need to... You over here, Eagle. And we're going to make you a pain in the ass to deal with. Now you will immediately drop him. I think we can manage to keep that from being a bad, a bad thing. So we're going to pop you over here, and trap that area again. Oh, um, nuts. Oh, that was unnecessary. Okay. Then let's her another turn. Okay. Now she can actually put him down. Probably put him down. Haha! -ha! Useful. Okay. Krummer's doing a good amount of work for us. You're gonna drop. So I really don't need you to move much. You're possibly gonna drop. You might not. Nuts. Alright, fine. Let's... Let's put him down. Or get him down low enough that he will pop as soon as that thing explodes. Man, really should have should have realized that was gonna happen. Okay. Let's give this a shot. That didn't do anything. That's not good. <laughs> I think Eccles about to about to drop like a stone. Let's give him a little bit of extra armor. And who's next? <laughs> yeah, yeah, fantastic. Um, Eccles, how you doing? Yeah, you're not doing too hot. Okay, so we're going to start his armor. <laughs> Oof.
keep dropping the armor. Alright. Oh! They do that silly thing more often than I really think they should. Okay. You can't really... You're not going to be able to do much in the way of damage. You do break armor, though, so there is that. And it's you. Okay. Let's get in there and start actually hurting this guy. Get him to a spot where we can actually start doing more than one point of damage around. Run her over here. See if we can't drop him. stones coming out. Don't like that. Do not like. Okay. Let's get you into position to, uh, to tank. Alright. <laughs> not bad. Now I can actually start to hurt him with Echo. Let's get you pushed back, shall we? I can actually put you down, and that is going to be worthwhile. Oh, yeah, that looked painful. All right. Hmm. Now, let's move you over here so that you can benefit from, from some additional... Soak. Let's pull down his armor a little. We're gonna need to start working on him. Wow, that does way more damage than I expected. Maybe I should have expected that, but... But I didn't! Still not gone off. That's a little bit of a pain. Hmm. I think it's time for you to stonewall up. Make you a little more difficult to take down. Son of a. Not difficult enough, apparently. Oh, 
him over here. And bat this guy away. Um... What? Why is this not... I am not liking this at all. I am making some severely bad mistakes. Terribly bad mistakes. I think I'm going to lose this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose this, in fact. Oh, but if, if only... I'm gonna get pretty damn close to losing this. Might be able to, to carry this out, but it's gonna be rough. Put him down. Up here. him. Uh, he's probably going down. But I think... think I've got him now. Sorry about that. bit more. This is gonna be right down to the wire. But I win. Okay. <laughs> Pulling back. That was so rough. Just ow. The music was playing pretty loud the whole time, so I didn't really have the opportunity to, to talk as much as I'd like, but then maybe you prefer that. Isn't this a damn curiosity? This is the second time I've been sent to find a Varl who is heading my direction with humans in tow. What are you doing up here? Gods, does, an, does nobody know what's going on around here? They leveled Grofheim to the ground. We've been losing ground for days. Drundra's in Einertoft now. They sent me to gather Krumr and the rest from Wormtow when we ran across this bunch of slag. And there's a lot more where they came from. Is this all the Varl you've got, Krumer? What have you been doing, eating each other? <laughs> Many went to Blotzbalker. Are you telling me Grofheim is completely gone? And Vogner's dead. Slag on our heels. The Varl you sent off north are probably dead. 
the world's ending. Come on, this is old news. We're gathering in Einhartoft. That's where we need to go right now. Wait. Fasolt takes a long moment to look out over the caravan of men, women, and children behind you. Not them. What do you mean, not them? We just saved your ass. I'll die before you send us away. <laughs> we just saved your ass, and a bunch of people went down for it. Little one, you have no idea how many slag I've butchered in the last few weeks. I don't get in fights I can't win. That includes men who invite themselves into Eindardhoft. Damn it, Fasolt. Who cares about that? What in the depths happened at Grofheim? Before Fasolt can reply, a low rumble grabs your attention, growing louder by the moment. Okay. Even though it's beyond sight, all eyes turn in Grofheim's direction as the rumbling becomes deafening, transforming quickly into crackling and splintering. It's coming closer. Go! shouts Fasolt, taking off toward taking off tar towards Einartoft. Don't stop until you reach Hatterborg. Uh wait, what? Yeah, so that was a couple of mountains just being pulverized. Do not like, do not want. But hey, a godstone. After three terrifying days of tremors, you reach the godstone of Hadraborg. <laughs> which is teeming with Varl, who want to know what is happening. Others busily mend makeshift defenses set up around the godstone of Hadraborg, creator of the Varl. Okay, now the music dies down. Fantastic. <laughs> Hold up. Pass pants fasolt between long gasps of air. We're going to have a talk. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I don't really have the opportunity to just let the music die down again, so... You're still standing. Well, most of you. Rest up, then move on. A mountain just sank into the earth, and some... something is out there, and you're just gonna send us away? I don't know who you are, but you're not going to Einertoft. There's a couple hundred Varl here who will back that up. Where are we supposed to go? Back the way we came? We're stuck between two mountain ranges. In one direction, a few thousand Varl. In the other, an army of dredge, and whatever caused that quake. Einhartoth is a Varl city. This shouldn't be news to a Varl. Give it a rest, Fisolt. Don't you recognize who you're talking to? Surprise suddenly flashes across Fasolt's face. The other Varl are starting to come closer now. You hear Ingvar being whispered between them. I think this might be the one person you want to let into Einartoft. You're... 
The humans come with me. All of them. Fasolt glances between Ivor and Krummer before stalking away, pushing past the mob of curious onlookers. Ivor, who are you? Some other time, Rook. Okay. And with that, I think we're going to leave, uh, <laughs> leave on that frightening note. We just had a couple of mountains get shattered. And uh, we're going to pick this up in the next episode. <laughs> All right. For the late game. Oh. Dang it. For crying out loud. Pipe down. <laughs> For the late game, I am the long game hunter, and I will see you next time in game. <laughs>